that's all your stuff, Leia. Just wanted to show you a quick shot of everything here. And then I'll go through each item one by one in her pack. And this is just a close-up of her pack. The handle on the top, you never know when you're going to have to hoist your dog down or hoist her up. If there's like a big um, rock face and she can't get up it or down it, you can use some rope and lower her down. We actually had to do that in our previous backpacking trip. So yeah, that's her pack. And the inside, and there's a little zip pocket there. Another one, same thing on this side. Pocket there. Straps. And that's everything that we pack and I'll go through each item now. Hey guys, it's Megan and this is my dog Leia and welcome back to my channel. This is the third video in my three-part uh, mini-series I have on my channel. Um, if you didn't see the first two, I'd recommend going to check them out. I will have them linked above going across here. And this video is all about backpacking with a dog and some tips and tricks and what we do with our dog when we take her backpacking. So this is our black lab. She's actually half black lab. Actually, yellow lab. I'm sorry. She's actually half yellow lab and half Gordon setter and she is two and a half years old and this will be her second backpacking trip with us. She went to the Catskills with us um, about two years ago and now she's going to go with us this weekend and she's going to go to the Adirondacks. And yep, she does carry her own little doggy pack here. So this is what it looks like with it on. But I'm going to take it off and show you everything in the pack. Got three clips here. Okay, good. Right, so this is her doggy pack. I will leave it linked below. We got it off Amazon, and I really like this because it's like a canvas material, and it's water resistant. It's a really strong, durable. It's got really strong stitching. Um, there's lots of little pockets and these hooks, and definitely I like the handle on it too. So I'll just go through each pocket. There's just like two main pockets. I don't have anything in this front pocket. I feel like it would just fall out probably. So on this side I have her bag of food that we're bringing. This is for four days. Should be plenty enough because I know when we went backpacking last time, she like gets too excited to eat. She like barely ate. She mostly wanted to eat a couple scraps at whatever I was eating. So this should be plenty of food. Are you hungry? And then I also brought a couple of these. Um, it's just like one of those little uh, wet food. This is just like a chicken wet food. It's like one of those little Caesars, but it's like a generic brand. Um, some of those, as I know, she'll definitely eat that. But like her dry food, she probably won't be interested in it, but she needs to eat something, especially with the miles she puts in. So I brought a couple of these. I think I brought three of them. And to even out the weight. You definitely want to make sure you're evened out the weight in your pack. So I have the food in this one, and on this side I have two of them. This one's a salmon one, and this one is a turkey one. And this is her little collapsible bowl for water. For food, we'll probably just lay the bag out and unzip it and then just have it like that. She can just eat out of it. Um, but for water, it easily just folds right up. We got this at Walmart, a little collapsible bowl in the camping section, which is nice. You just pop it open, give her some water. And then also got three little bones just as a treat for her because I know, like I said, she probably won't touch much of her food. So I wanted to make sure that she was getting something or some kind of food. So these are just some little chewy bones, peanut butter, and couple of bones so when we get to our camp and at night and we're at the campfire I can give her a bone to chew on. And then these are just these little soft chew treats. 
Um, I brought these just in case if she gets stiff or sore. They actually have like glucosamine in them. So in case she's sore one day, give her one of those little treats. I think this is the package I have here. Hip and joint soft shoes. Again, I think I got these off Amazon too. So I'll link them below. But that's what they look like. There, so. So I am bringing her leash to use. Um, especially if we're in like a high traffic area on the trail and there's a lot of people, you definitely wanna keep your dog on a leash. But when you get in some of the remote parts or when you get higher up in the trail, we'll probably let her off. She stays like right in front of us or right behind us. She's really good about it. And she will be wearing a um, shock collar as well. And like, as soon as we put that on, she like knows cause she's been shocked by it before. Um, she doesn't leave our side, so she's really good about that. And then the last thing I have in here, and just a Ziploc bag so it doesn't get wet, I might even stick this just in my pack so it doesn't get wet, is just a copy of like her latest vaccinations and her rabies shots. I definitely recommend bringing that with you. Um, some trails even require that you have it if you have your dog, so it's a good idea just to throw that in there just in case. So that's all I have in there, and yeah, I like how it hooks on two under her um, belly and her ribs and then one around her neck make sure you have it all adjusted not too tight but tight enough so it's not like rubbing the whole time on her and definitely get your dog used to it before you um, just put a pack on them and take them out on the trail make sure that you wear it a few times just go for walks around in your neighborhood so that they get used to wearing it because at first they might get a little freaked out with it and let me just look at my little notes here of any other tips that I have. Um, yeah, just make sure you might even want to consult with your vet before you go on any type of trip. And just make sure that your dog is physically fit and able to do the type of trail that you're doing. You don't want to put too much stress on them. Or if they're an older dog, um, you might not even want them to carry a pack at all. Um, I guess they recommend for young healthy dogs, it's 25% of their body weight that they can carry. So keep that in mind. You don't want to load them down with a lot of stuff. Um, last time we had her carry water. We didn't bring a lot of these extra little goodies. We just had food, but um, now that we know that she like barely eats when we're out there, we brought this other stuff and we'll probably carry her water. And we know on this trail that there's a lot of water and streams, crossings along the way. So she'll probably just drink that way. Um, also, um, with sleeping, if it is cold weather, you probably want to bring like an extra blanket or sleeping pad for them to lay down um, on at night, but we, it's June, so we don't have to worry about that, taking that this time. And also, the only other thing I want to say is um, check, do a lot of research on the trail that you're going on and check to see if it's a uh, heavily populated area with rattlesnakes because if it is I wouldn't recommend bringing your dog at all because heaven forbid if you're hiking and your dog got bit by a rattlesnake that would just be terrible because that would just be terrible and if you don't have like a snake emergency kit you know you don't want to risk it just by you know bringing your dog on a hike you wouldn't want to risk that so I would recommend definitely doing some research about that um, like there's this place that we really want to go to in central PA, but we know it's like loaded with rattlesnakes. So we've been putting it off because we don't really want to go hiking without her. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching this video. If there's anything that I'm forgetting, leave it in the comments below and um, I'll leave the other videos linked above. So have a good one.